This is the Army Today. Exercise Red Dragon brings biological, radiological, and nuclear threats to the table. Captain Anthony Buchanan gives us a closer look at the exercise that trains, tests, and evaluates Army Reserve Seaburn units and soldiers. Members of the 369th Engineer Detachment began Exercise Red Dragon 2012 by conducting firefighter training at the Georgia Public Safety Training Center in Forsyth, Georgia. Sergeant George Heiserman explains the training conducted. Out here today we're doing some uh, fire pump training, we're doing some drafting operations where we draft water out of a static pond or a lake of some sort and draft it into the, the fire engine so we have water so we can fight fires with it. Um, in a little bit we're going to be doing some pumping operations out of the bumper and roof turrets for like aircraft fires. Even though the members of the 369th are firefighters, they also have to hold several certifications. For Red Dragon 2012, they were tasked with rescue and extraction. First Lieutenant Justin Gilday explains their role in Red Dragon. Typically, we're supporting the exercises of this magnitude for uh, search and extraction missions. Our soldiers go through advanced training in all the rescue disciplines uh, that involve confined space rescue technician, structural collapse rescue technician, trench technician, vehicle machinery technician, and rope rescue technician. Uh, basically, if a, if a building were to collapse in a city, uh, our firefighters are trained to go in and safely extract the victims. Reporting from Forsyth, Georgia, I'm Army Captain Anthony Buchanan. For more stories that make America's Army, visit the U.S. Army on YouTube. That's the Army Today from Soldiers Radio and Television.